What is going to occur in 10 quintillion years? Hello guys. How will the human race and our cherished planet Earth fare in the future? After considerable research, we discovered projections for the next 1,000, 1 million, and even 10 quintillion years. Let's travel this path together. A millennium from now. Languages have evolved quickly, thus hardly a single term used today will have survived. Polaris is replaced by Gamma CFA. Thus, a new North Star will emerge. Ice sheets will have fully melted 2,000 years from now if global warming exceeds plus 8 degrees Celsius. The ice of Greenland will melt. There will be a 6-meter rise in sea levels. Did you know that 5,125 marks the end of the Mayan calendar, and, in accordance with the Mayans, another impending doomsday? If we live to be 5,125, Chernobyl will eventually be safe in 20,000 years. In 50,000 years time, the Niagara Falls vanish. The waterfall vanishes throughout the final 32 kilometers to Lake Erie due to erosion. With a mild global warming of plus 2 degrees centigrade, the ice in Greenland melted completely. After 100,000 years, your MacBook's titanium has started to rust. It is conceivable that the Earth was impacted by a supervolcano or a big asteroid that changed the environment. In 500,000 years, Earth will have moved through the galaxy, changing the way the stars appear in the heavens. In a million years, there will be a new global freeze and the spent fuel in today's reactors will finally be safe. Massive stone monuments like the pyramids at Giza or the sculptures at Mount Rushmore may still exist, but everything glass made to date will have finally deteriorated. Gone is everything else. Some have suggested that the Y chromosome could disappear in 5 million years, rendering men extinct. Africa and Eurasia will have merged 50 million years from now, shutting off the Mediterranean basin and forming a mountain range resembling the Himalayas. When the ice in Antarctica moves north and melts, the sea level rises by 75 meters. Don't worry, the galaxy may have been populated by then, and the Earth's orbit will be unpredictable in 60 million years. The continents will begin to move and form a new supercontinent in 250 million years. Multicellular life ends 800 million years from now when photosynthesis in the oceans is no longer possible. In 2 billion years, the Earth's core will have frozen and the planet will no longer be rotating. Without spinning, magnetic fields, or sun protection, the temperature on the ground reaches 147 degrees Celsius. In 7 billion years, when the sun reaches its maximum radius, it will have extinguished along with all life on Earth. Earth, Venus, and possibly Mercury will all perish. And after that, with roughly 50% of its current mass, the sun transforms into a carbon-oxygen white dwarf. In 20 billion years' time, one possible universe's end. The universe is expanding and tearing itself apart. All distances end up being limitless. In 100 trillion years, all of the stars will have disintegrated. Remains, white dwarfs, neutron stars, and black holes are the only objects left. The Earth's orbit will finally have degenerated and collapse into the sun in 100 quintillion years, if it isn't eaten by a bloated sun. The last. What do you anticipate for both the planet and the human race? Comments are welcome below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Additionally, remember to subscribe for more.